Good morning, wildlings. I wanted to come on here this morning and talk a little bit about my perimenopause journey and, and what it's taken to get to this place in my life. Because, hey everybody, thanks for joining. If you don't already know, perimenopause is a joy. And if you have a uterus, or you have a partner with a uterus, or you live with somebody with a uterus, it's going to affect you. So, 100% of people are going to be affected by perimenopause at some point. And we know nothing about it. And we definitely know nothing about perimenopause in neurodivergent people. And what you're starting to see right now is probably about half of the population. And in my generation, there's actually more women than there are men. And it's why <laughs> you're seeing perimenopause so much. And it's why you're seeing people like myself be diagnosed with divergence late in life. Because we're hitting like... 35, 40, and our bodies are literally starting to fall apart. And let me tell you, the pain that you're feeling in your body is your uterus dying. So, <clears throat> if you feel like death, it's because a part of your body is dying. So, let me give you some tidbits on how this works in our body. So, if you're neurodivergent, welcome. You're going through hell if you're in perimenopause and your body feels like it wants to rip you apart from the inside. And it does. Because all of your joints are coming apart and wanting to die and so is your uterus, and so is your brain. So I want to share what happened to me so it doesn't happen to you because my doctor forced me into a mental breakdown because they refused to listen to what was going on in my own body. And because I had an autism diagnosis that they didn't recognize, they refused to acknowledge me as an intelligent adult and they refused to acknowledge me as somebody who actually knows what's going on in their body. Even though for my entire life, I had told my doctors exactly what was going on in my body and they all just laughed at me. So if you are having a similar experience with your doctor, if you are feeling severe, intense pains in your body, and once a month you think the world is coming apart, and your partner hates you, and your kids are hellions, and your dog is evil, you may too be headed into perimenopause, and you may too also be a divergent thinker. I will help you calm your body down, make you realize that your brain is not trying to kill you, and then you can have some normalcy back in your life. Because I had to figure this all out on my own because my doctors abandoned me and nobody wanted to listen to me until I literally had a mental breakdown and almost lost my life. And it doesn't surprise me that I'm talking about this. Yesterday, I think, was Suicide Prevention Day. You want to prevent suicide in 94% of autistic adults? And if you want to prevent suicide in, what is it? I think when we're 45 there is a 65% chance that a woman in perimenopause or menopause will commit suicide. I was almost one of those people because my doctor wasn't listening to me, 
because my partner couldn't understand what was going on with me because nobody has been educated about any of this. And there are women and people with uteruses dying every day by suicide because doctors refuse to listen to us. If you feel like you are in the same place, that your body is doing things to you that feel impossible and that your doctors are not listening to you and they're telling you that, oh, it's just middle age, you know, and this is, this is just what you're supposed to feel during menopause or perimenopause or you're just tired. It's anxiety. It's this, it's that. And you're going, no, my body's fucking dying. My body is dying. And that is exactly what is happening to people with uteruses during perimenopause. Your uterus is dying. It's why your hormones are trying to kill you. It's because our bodies at this point in our lives just go, fuck you. And doctors, because they're lazy, because of the patriarchy, because People just like to be gods and tell you that you're wrong. Because of all of that, you're sitting there in severe pain, thinking that you're going crazy, thinking that you want to die because nobody is listening to you. There is an entire generation of Gen Xers who are going through it right now because nobody knows this information. My doctor doesn't know this information. My husband, I don't know this information and I have a fucking uterus. Why are we not teaching our children how their bodies work? And why are we not telling doctors how women's bodies work? Because I will tell you, I've had to hyper-focus on this for the past five years. And when an autistic hyper-focuses, we find out all the shit. And now, if you're becoming a part of divergent Instagram or divergent threads, what are we doing for each other? We're giving each other the tools to help each other to heal ourselves. This is the way we need to start healing. Because nobody deserves to live what I just lived through for the past five years. We need to be teaching kids what is happening to their bodies. We need to be teaching adults what is happening to their bodies. We need to educate them. And then we need to say, hey, hey, people with uteruses, go get some fucking electrolytes with collagen in it. There's a link in my bio to the Amazon page to get yourself some electrolytes because I will tell you when I forget to take these, my body literally feels like I want to die. So click on the link in my bio and go and get yourself some electrolytes if you're in your 40s. And not cheap electrolytes. This is $35. This is $35 for the month. It lasts me a month. And that's even with my family sometimes having a drink. This one has collagen in it. And I will tell you, the days I forget to take this, I feel like I want to die. And my brain stops working because that's what happens during perimenopause. Your brain isn't lubricated enough and you literally can't think. And your memory disappears because your estrogen is dropping. So you need to get some estrogen in your body if you have a uterus and you feel like you're dying and you're around 35 to 40. Now, the only thing that you have to worry about is if you have estrogen dominance in your body and you have cancer in your family. 
So those are the things that you have to worry about if you're considering taking estrogen. But there are ways to take estrogen and it not affect your body and cross the barrier to create cancer in your body. But nobody wants to tell you this because they need women to be fucking suffering so we don't take over the world. So, ladies and people with uteruses, do you want to take over the world? Do you want to heal yourself? Do you want to feel like you're not in pain anymore? Because I know I did. If you don't want to feel like you're dying, and if you want to be in control of your body and your mind again, follow along. Head over to my links in my bio and go on Amazon and get yourself some hydration drinks. It's not going to kill you. The worst it can do is overhydrate you and you just have to pee. Listen, you have the ability to heal yourself. We all have the ability to heal ourselves. But we have been conned into believing that we can't do it because doctors need to keep on doctoring. And I hate to tell you, but there are a lot of people that can help you heal that aren't doctors. <gasps> and guess what? For generations, there was a woman that lived at the edge of a city that you would go and sit and have tea with. And she would tell you about your body and what was going on with it and how you can take care of yourself. But for some reason, we decided that that was a bad idea. That women don't know anything about healing themselves and that we need to go to a doctor that is educated in a school system that women didn't even have access to. Are you starting to understand what we have been fed all of our lives? Are you starting to understand that you have been told your entire life that you don't know how to take care of yourself? This is what the patriarchy did. You have been convinced by your parents, by your educators, that you don't know enough to take care of yourself. And I was there. I believed it. My little autistic mind loves rules. And when we are told a rule, we follow it to our demise. So I was told as a kid that if I needed to take care of myself, I asked my parents and they had all the answers. And I was also told that if my parents didn't have the answers, a doctor or a teacher had the answers. So then I had to trust that doctors and teachers were really smart. <clears throat> and some of them are. Some of them are incredibly smart. And there are some teachers that are incredibly smart. But there are also people that are highly uneducated in those systems that don't know what they're talking about. And some of them are our very own doctors. And I can tell you that I trusted my doctor for a very long time and it made me very, very, very sick. Because I believed that my doctor knew everything because that's what I had been told as an autistic person. And I believed people when they told me things because that's what I had been told to do. But now I know how my brain works. And now that I've started doing some things, so I have also linked to some of these things on my Amazon page and you can go, you don't have, you can have a look, do some research, 
like I said, this is what I have done for the past five years. And it has brought me to a place where my body and my mind are finally connected. And when my body hurts, my mind can go, what is wrong? And then I can go, oh, I think I'm feeling a little dehydrated. So I go and I get my hydration liquid. And I literally pump myself full of hydration and electrolytes and salt and collagen. And I eat really nutrient dense foods. And guess what? That pain that was so excruciating at the beginning of the week is gone because I took care of myself because I noticed what was happening in my body. And that's taken a really long time for me to figure out. It's taken therapy. It's taken me just sitting with my body and going, oh yeah, my stomach feels kind of weird. What is that? And then paying attention and going, oh yeah, my digestion's really slowed down over the last couple of days. Why is that? And oh my God, my joints are aching. Why is that? And then I start doing some research and I start realizing that perimenopausal women are incredibly dehydrated. They don't have enough lubrication in their joints. And when you put collagen and electrolytes in your body, you don't feel the pain anymore. Or I could just listen to my doctors and say, no, you're not actually feeling any pain because you don't look like you're in pain. And I, I don't, I'm not going to give you anything except for painkillers, naproxen. That one's really good. Naproxen's going to fix you. Here, have some more naproxen. Guess what naproxen does? It constipates you. So I'm already constipated. And you want to give me more stuff that's going to constipate me. And then do you know what that causes in your body? Holy crap. No, man. I just needed to drink more liquids. And the proper liquids with collagen and electrolytes and vitamins. So, five years ago, I was writhing in pain. I was crying all day, every day. I was screaming at my family and my friends and the people that were around me. I was incredibly angry and overwhelmed. And then I just said, fuck it. I need to start taking care of myself because nobody else is figuring it out and I can't live like this. So please do yourself a favor. And when you start to feel pain, ask your body what's going on. Ask your body if it's okay. And if it's not, ask some questions. Ask the women that have already gone through it and that seem to be doing a little more gracefully than other people and may, maybe not graceful. And nah, I didn't, that was, that wasn't fucking graceful at all, actually. And it's still, there's still no, there, there's a little bit of grace in me, but not a lot of grace in me. So give yourself some grace and allow yourself to find the tools that are readily available there is a crap ton of stuff out there for perimenopause. If I take this one, if I take peri if I take this one and I take two of them before bed, I can actually sleep through my hot flashes. If I take estrogen suppositories, two of them before bed, I sleep like the fucking dead. It's amazing. If I take two estrogen suppositories before bed, my body completely relaxes and I don't get shoulder pain. There are solutions. 
And your doctors don't even know they exist because they're not looking for them because they're just trying to crawl out of what we just went through. So please start looking to your elders, start visiting the wise women, start going to the people that have gone through it before because they are going to be the ones to help you. It's not going to be your doctors, unfortunately. They know nothing. <laughs> So allow yourself to go through perimenopause and menopause gracefully. If you are 35 heading on up anywhere and you're feeling severe pain in your body, you're having headaches and aches and joint things that you just think are unbearable, ask somebody, ask women that are older than you. There is information to be had I am starting to post some of these things in my Amazon um, marketplace for you to go and have a look at to see if it works for you. This is all advice that we can give each other and we can help each other. There is no reason unless you have a hormone issue to not be using these things. Estrogen lives in our body, and when we hit menopause, it disappears. That is why you are feeling so much pain. Ask for estrogen, and when they refuse to give it to you, come back to me, and I will help you get it. I will help you say the things that you need to say to get estrogen to help your body. There are so many ways to do it. Doctors are very uneducated about perimenopause and menopause. I do not know how to express this to you. Start following some perimenopause and menopause doctors. They are everywhere on Instagram. Follow me. I am going to link to them. I do not want you to feel like you are dying the way I felt like I was dying. Let's heal in community. Let's not let other people suffer. Let's start healing ourselves because you do not have to be in pain. <sighs> Sharing some wisdom from the edge of the woods by a city. This is a wise woman sharing her wisdom with her community so we can heal. And if you want to help me thrive as a divergent thinker, send me some love. Give me some stars. Go and purchase something off the Amazon list. This is the way that I'm going to support myself. I'm going to live divergently by sharing information and asking for donations. Go buy me a bottle of electrolytes so I can, you know, live the way that I need to live. If you want to support me by buying me a bottle of, of my meds, hey, go do it. If you feel like you got something from this live, go and buy something off my wish list on Amazon. I'll link to it in my bio. Let's start supporting each other in ways that we need to be supported. I need to have electrolytes in my life. So buy me a $35 thing of electrolytes and I'm supported and then I can share this wisdom with you and then we can all start to heal together and then I'll buy you some electrolytes when I've got a little bit of extra cash because I don't need to buy electrolytes anymore. That's how this works. Do you want to live the way our ancestors lived and live happily in community? This is how we do it. We share our wisdom we help each other heal, and we support each other when we can. So go buy me some CBN gummies so I can sleep at night. Or, or, or send me some cash via my PayPal so I can go get some groceries. That is how we're going to do this. And when I feel completely 100% supported and abundant, I give back. This is the new world, and we need to start living this way because we can heal each other, we can live in community, and we can thrive as divergent thinkers. 
We just need to start thinking divergently and living divergently and showing the world how that can actually work. So I'm going to show you the way because I've learned a couple things in the past five years. Go live divergently, wildlings, and your life will just get so much better. Bye for now. Go be wild.